I knew from the first time I spoke with the playground committee that this playground project was going to be a little different. And this project was going to have a real effect on this community through the power of play. It's not just the structures in terms of the metal and the plastic and all that. Building is about the people that helped participate in this. By the end of the first three days of school, I had grade two students at my door that said, not everybody at our school can play and that's not okay. The children of this community have already shown us that they get it. They are trendsetters who are changing the way we view our fellow human beings. And not just demanding change, they are creating change. It doesn't matter how old you are. You have the ability to make a difference. And when you share that vision with other people who have the same passion, this is the kind of magic that can happen. Now we have given them the space that they deserve, and they will use it to teach us all what real inclusion is all about through the power of play. Um, the first day, actually, when it opened, I just saw, I looked behind me and I saw a Jagger. Usually he goes slow down the ramp, but he was going fast. And I, we were all just running to the playground and Jagger was being pushed fast. And I saw, I saw, when Jagger saw this, I knew he was really happy. And I know they're gonna have a great time on it, like we are. These wonderful children at the school, the faculty, the parents, they all understood why it was important and why this school and this community really needed a playground for everyone of all abilities. That was a real difference. Um, a lot of the schools that I go into, uh, if they don't have children with visible disabilities that you can see, um, they will say, oh, we don't need to worry about inclusion on our playground. When inclusion is really for everybody, it's truly multi-generational, not just children, but parents, grandparents, siblings, everybody. When we talk about real inclusion, we are talking all abilities, all ages, all generations. I am uh, Tim Ellsworth, Territory Manager for Park and Play Design for Southern Alberta, and this is the Maddie McCullough Access for All Barrier-Free Playground Project, and I am so incredibly proud to be a part of it. I thought it wouldn't be this, uh, this awesome. I, I, it's way more than I expected. I thought it would like kind of not be as awesome as this mostly. I thought it would be one little piece of equipment. It would take three years to get what we have now, so not what I imagined at all. This is different because everybody can play on it. Not just us. And kids with autism and kids with Down syndrome, they can still play on this park. The ramp continues up to, all the way up to the top. There's like a giant fidget spinner and like flying saucer swings. On the way there's like stops like bells and laughing machines and stuff that they can touch and it makes sound and stuff. I would be playing with them probably on the boat or the, swing. or the swings a lot. We will play with them like they're just like us. We include them and with this playground we get to play on with them more than we would play on them on that playground. He's happy because now he can play on the park with, with us and Fallon can too. When they say barrier free it really is to the full potential. So one of Jager's friends came up and said I want to take Jager. I said sure go ahead and I actually got to sit back on the sidelines with the other moms and have our little mom chit chat and when it was time to go for the first time I could say Jagger, let's go. I've never been able to say, like call him out from a group setting without a parent present. So that was a really cool experience, really emotional experience.